one of the most legendary stars in professional wrestling history appeared to close the curtain on his in-ring career after The Undertaker dropped his gloves, hat and trench coat in the center of the ring Sunday night at WrestleMania 33. The Undertaker lost to Roman Reigns in the main event of WrestleMania 33. It's a fitting way for the Phantom to go out, putting over a younger star who should benefit from beating one of WWE's biggest legends. Still, WWE seemingly undercut the moment somewhat by having it come at the end of a seven-hour show. Fans in Orlando, Florida, were burnt out by the time the main event rolled around so they didn't react to a lot of what was happening in the ring. Much like your favorite television show that lasted a season or two longer than it needed to, some might argue The Undertaker would have had a more momentous exit if he had left WWE a few years earlier. On Sunday night, he looked every bit like a wrestler who had been competing in the ring for over 30 years. With that said, nothing will take away from The Undertaker's legacy. He's a seven-time world champion who carried a banner for WWE for almost the entirety of his career. The fact he has only had seven title reigns, compared to 16 for John Cena, 14 for Triple H and 13 for Randy Orton, is a testament to the fact he didn't need a championship belt to solidify his status as a marquee talent. Early in his career, his presence alone was enough to send chills down fans' spines, and later in his career, he remade himself as a great and ring wrestler. His WrestleMania clashes with Shawn Michaels are two of the best in the event's illustrious history. Even as The Undertaker's schedule lessened significantly in recent years, fans knew they could count on seeing him at least once or twice a year for major events. His departure closes a chapter for a bygone era of WWE.